Hello there guys and girls, this is the Fresh Prince with another you for Let's Play episode of Scandinavia, so let us continue. Still, I'm wondering what we can do because we have no, our air is not ready of age, come of age yet, so cannot really attack anything. Oh, that went well. Thankfully though, we had that defensive war in which we could gain territory was a welcome war I guess but we had a lot of losses because obviously we didn't have enough leaders for all our armies and when we don't have leaders they lose so much and they don't become effective uh, I guess we can go for that yeah Riazan we have lost the cast spell against it but it's okay we can now fabricate a claim on it fabricate a claim go for it and we should have more claims on uh, we can fabricate on Ostrov no I want to go for, uh, let's see, Perm here, no. No other territory to fabricate a claim on, I guess. Henza, okay, Simbirsk. We could annex them immediately, which would not be a big problem, I suppose. For Crimea, we could now fabricate a claim on Moscow. Yes, we can. Still waiting for our son to get of age and Unique buildings, the march wouldn't be so useful, I suppose. We do need to build more constables, though. That I do agree with. And we also need to build this uh, temple somewhere. Yeah. Let's build temples. Temples, temples. And probably some treasuries, actually, would be a decent idea, would it? Treasuries, where can we build them? Here, and maybe a workshop? No. Something more helpful, I guess. How about barracks or training fields? Yeah, in Stockholm. Let's build it there, because we can. We can do such a thing. And of course, we need much more manpower to. Yeah. Oh, this is great. We gain like 1,000 a month. It's exactly what we needed, actually. Now, the culture here is Russian, which is accepted. This one, let's see, oh, of course we want to go for this, because otherwise we will get, like, no money income at all. Mm, this guy, oh, Gain wants to build the, of course I'll do this, and lose the legitimacy, or lose that empire, lose legitimacy, because we can, and then this would be pretty expensive, so I would not really take it if I had the option. There's a religion, let's see, we're working on it to make them poor, oh. Yep, send this stack here, take care of that 9k rebellion. Not a big deal, I suppose, hopefully we don't lose too many men defending it. Okay, well, eh, it's not too many, I suppose, but still quite a good amount lost there. Should be a little bit more careful in that regard. Still need to wait because of the production investments that make it so much more expensive though. Trade depot and then marketplace or canal. We can build it somewhere over here, I guess. Yeah, let's keep investing into this kind of stuff. It does cost a lot though, I must say. Hmm. We're not really that, uh, <laughs> how should I put it? Oh, yeah, we can do it again. So in our Hungels, that's something we can get. Definitely, and our ruler is going to be of age soon, and when that happens, all the wars will have finished. Hmm. Let's think long term. Oh yes, that's great. Oh nice, now he is ruling over our nation. So what we can do here is declare war and they're allied with Perm. That's not a big deal. We can deal with them immediately. So Riazan, let's declare war on you, go crush them, they're crushed, and then probably with Perm as well, and they don't really have any troops as well it seems, so not a big deal, let's just go siege and take what we need here. More power to the nobles, sure, production efficiency always seems decent, just keep enough here. Moves tax it, sure. Local tax modifier. Seems like a good idea. What is this? This is from Muscovy. Oh, Mus Muscovy actually owns that. That's ridiculous. Oh, and we should take this diplomatic uh, power, because we can. 
Admiralty. Oh, we can build the Admiralty. Oh, that's great. Leaders without upkeep plus one. I kind of want that, I suppose. It might be useful to have. So yeah, this siege here is going along more than fine, I guess. And their troops are so bad that they almost lost this, I think. <laughs> they almost lost this. But they're going to lose it now, I guess. Yeah, that's just hilarious. Right there, how they lost that stack. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it here, actually, to keep sieging. I'm not gonna send it anywhere. I guess I'm gonna send to support, and then Riazan. But Mercia, let's send everything back here and send this stack too. But actually lose a good amount here, so... Hmm. Not quite what I desired. Oh, and this has been done. That's great. Already progressing on... Wait, Smolensk was lost. Oh no, you can't be serious that we actually lost it over there. No, 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 it, it was Bryansk that we lost, but I hope that it's still becoming a core. No, it is not a core. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Salt it. Oh god, that was terrible. That was terrible. Let's do it again, though. So we gotta make it into a core. That was just terrible that we couldn't. Uh, I didn't look close enough, I suppose just bad by me but it is time to take all of this which we do consider as claims and then from Riazan we'll just annex it overall so what we're gonna do is make all of them into course and our next target is gonna be so you have a navy somewhere yes it is seventh fleet here send it to Ingermanland send our big stack here and we shall move up and see what we can do with it. Diplomatic move, sure. Gain more diplomatic power. It's always nice. It's for the Admiralty. Yes, I'm going to build it also in Stockholm. Now I cannot, yes, I can attach it to transport, select the Navy, send them all over here. Kill those guys, then declare war on Norway and we'll be okay, I suppose. And yeah, let's declare war already, even though we're not quite there yet. Does it really matter? Oh, Perm has entered into a coalition against us. Why not? In some admin power, now go send them to Akurei and we'll also annex that. And with this, we're gonna convert this rule uh, from to the proper religion router. Down here, can we take this technology? Seems like we can, so we might as well have all this power at our disposal. All those claims, uh, yeah, Penza. Golden Horde, actually. <laughs> then Tambov or Tula. Let's take Tula then. Can go down there. Scotland still looks very strong, and England has all of Ireland. Not too bad for England. And we did lose a good amount of men here. Oh, they spawned again, but they died immediately. That was pretty funny of them to do that. So here the siege is going along mighty fine. Which is what we want. Everything is going as, as we desire. There are no hiccups, so Norway here shall get annexed. We shall now fix it and make it into our core. And here we shall attach transport, but of course there's some annoying dudes around. Send them back here. Yep, save those, uh, save them from Russian and Uralic patriots it seems. So oh, we can now take this, uh, this one here. Once I destroy that stack of rebels, I'll be okay. Oh, and what's this? Oh, this, these are Uzbek, and they're actually quite big. Wow, large. Muscovy is still over there. That looks ridiculous. That really doesn't look ridiculous, but okay. If they are there, then whatever. Gallop cavalry and leather cannon. Yeah, let's take those. And then what's going to be next is... Oh, Golden Horde expanded a little bit more, it seems. But I think we'll get reformed tercios. It's not a problem. In fact, I probably want to take it soon, yeah. For the new unit. Reformed tercios or Gustavian infantry. These guys have really good uh, Gustavian because they seem to be the best. 
overall, I think. Over better over than reformed tercios at least. So we should go for another war overall. Oh, this is nice. Muscovy still holds some territory, so let's do that then. Hmm. As for Golden Horde and Kazan, yeah, let's go for the Golden Horde and take what we can from them. Now that they're here. And in terms of technology, this is quite ahead of time, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recruit a guy. And I'm also going to recruit a guy. He's not so good, though, this guy. But oh, well. Oh, this is going to be quite fast. And Lithuania declared war. Oh, Muscovy has joined in. All right, we can take this fast. And after that, we can go back in and do our best to crush them. I suppose is what I'm going to say here. Not actually sieging yet, which I don't mind that they're not sieging, but we have Penza. Which is what I'm looking forward to. Biansk, it's not actually there. We can go for Penza, but uh, this would be meh. Oh, if I kill their stack, I'm sure that they'll give up. After Simbirsk, they, would they give me Penza or, and Simbirsk? It seems like not, so I need to continue along. Would they give me anything now? Yes, they would give me both. So yes, as you can see, the units do help. <laughs> oh, I'm at war with Muscovy, of course. That is why things are so, as bad as they are. Oh, how am I sending them through here? I need Ludwig here. Oh no. I need to send, uh, wait. I cannot click on it. Let's see, Rangvald, Prince, and here, Ludwig. Yeah, we need the better general here. Oh wow, look at this. Are we still winning this? Seems like we did. <laughs> We're still quite effective in that battle, even though, yeah. Now we can send the stack back and we can relax or not at all. <laughs> we just lost a big stack of units. Just like that. That was pretty terrible. It was pretty terrible how things happened there. Never again, never again. Okay, if I concede defeat, would you agree to this? No, they would not agree. And why would they actually, right? Let's make 12 here. No 10 here. And make two cab units around here and make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, still have a decent amount of manpower as you can see, but that battle was just terrible that we just uh, had where we lost a huge amount of stacks. Oh, and here of course we can go for this technology, but why would we? Russian is an accepted culture, so why would I do otherwise, right? This is, this is a relic though, and this is Tartar, so I guess we could change that one. Just here, that stack just got demolished. I think they might attack me, or actually no. Let's go to Kaluga and take care of that small stack. Now they're gonna come in from all angles and try and do what they think is best, which is die to my stack, like really, really easily. Here, this other one died. I'm sending more to attack. Some administrative power and your stack just disappeared into nothingness as we want, as we really, really want here. But it's just surprising how they're actually doing this. And all I want to do is just concede defeat to you guys, nothing, nothing more. And you do not offer me this ability. Oh. Yes, of course, I have just conceded defeat to you. Yay, I'm okay with that. Of course, I need two more infantry units here. But anyway, I guess we did lose that war, but we don't care that we lost it. <laughs> Let's make it into a core. And a missionary is working in Simbirsk. Stop the missionary then, sorry about that. And go convert somewhere else, I guess. Hmm. And unfortunately, I have to take this, but oh well. Anyway, let's make another one, another building here. Royal Palace or War College. Hmm. Let's build the War College first. But anyway. Wait. Yeah, that's fine. 
Anyway, hope you guys and girls enjoyed. And if you want to see more, don't forget to comment, read, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Share the video, and I shall see you next time.